Today, guys, we're going to be talking about eigenvalues and how to find them. So pretty much to find an eigenvalue, we have to, we have to solve for this formula. We have to solve for this formula with a x equals lambda x or lambda stands for the eigenvalue. So if we subtract lambda x from both sides, we get a x minus lambda x equals zero. If we factor on x over here, we get a minus lambda equals zero. Or this is the same thing as the identity matrix. So, using this form over here, I'm going to write the side over here for your reference. We have a minus lambda x equals zero. We're going to use this to find the eigenvalues. Where the eigenvalue is the determinant of a minus lambda set equal to zero. So, we're going to do a real simple example just so you can understand the concept of finding eigenvalues. So, this is a 2 by 2 matrix. I'm going to say A equals 5, 0, 2, and 1. So, according to the formula, I'm going to subtract this by lambda, 0, 0, lambda. So, when I do that, I get 5 minus lambda, 0, 2, and 1 minus lambda. Now I have to find the determinant for this 2 by 2 matrix. And if you can remember, the determinant for our 2 by 2 matrix is simply just A, B minus B, C. As you can see, these problems can get much more tedious. If you have a 3 by 3 matrix, you're going to have to expand or row reduce to upper triangle form and multiply the diagonal to get the, to get the determinant. But for this, we just have a 2 by 2 matrix, so it's simply just A, D minus B, C. So, it becomes 5 minus lambda multiplied by 1 minus lambda minus 0. This is 0 times 2. Okay, let me go ahead and erase this. So, when we FOIL this out over here, we simply get lambda squared minus 6 lambda plus 5 set equal to 0 so lucky for us this can be factored straight easily so it's lambda minus 1 and lambda minus 5 set equal to 0 solve for each we get lambda equals 1 and lambda equals 5. So therefore the eigenvalue is 1 and 5. So it's not a hard process but it can get pretty tedious. One tip I can give you is that if you have a matrix that's already in upper triangle form, meaning if it was something like 2, 5, and 0, 6, the eigenvalues are simply is 2 and 6. So that's the shortcut you can take. But that's only if it's already in upper triangle form. So, and another kind of question they might ask you is to find the condition of A. So that is simply just the absolute value eigenmax over the absolute value of I and men. So in our problem we got five and one. So 
if our condition is just five. That's just a little tip for you. And so that's pretty much it for my values. As I mentioned before, it can get pretty complicated if it's more than a two by two matrix, three by three, or four by four, etc. It can get more complicated to find the determinant, but it's still the same basic concept. So this should give you a pretty good foundation on how to find eigenvalues. Okay, thank you for watching. See you guys next time.